Now let's test out the Falcon 40B model. And that is the correct answer. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are gonna be talking about something truly exciting. We're gonna be talking about the Falcon 40B model, which is a state-of-the-art large language model which has been making waves within the AI community ever since it has been released. The Falcon 40B model was created by the Technology Innovation Institute in Abu Dhabi. It is also one of the first truly open source large language model out there, which can actually compete with state-of-the-art large language models like GPT and Lambda. So the Falcon family consists of two base models, the Falcon 40B, and the Falcon 7B. So the Falcon 40B, given its name, consists of 40 billion parameters, and the Falcon 7B is a much smaller version of this. The Falcon 40B currently tops the open LLM leaderboard charts that we have of these open source large language models. So in today's video, we're gonna be looking at exactly how the Falcon 40B and the 7B work, we're also going to be testing it out and trying to see how it compares with other open source large language models. So let's get started. Let's jump into a brief overview of the Falcon LLM. So the Falcon LLM is a foundational large language model, which means that it has numerous capabilities and it's something which can be built upon and expanded. It also has 40 billion parameters and it is trained with 1 trillion tokens. And one of the most interesting fact is that the model uses only 75% of GPT-3's training compute, only 40% of Chinchilla's model, and then 80% of the Palm 62 billion uh, model as well, which is pretty amazing. The fact that it can achieve the same results as these models with much lesser compute is amazing. So what exactly can the Falcon model be used for? Well, the possibilities are endless. The Falcon model can be used to generate creative text. It can also be used for chatbots, customer service, virtual assistants, etc. This institute, which has created the Falcon model, completely understand that they can't predict all the things that the Falcon model can be used for. That's why they even have a call for use cases for the Falcon model. So if you guys have a really great idea on how you can use the Falcon model, you can also submit your use case right here. As of filming this video, this is what the open LLM leaderboard on Hugging Face looks like. And as you can see, the Falcon 40B is at the top. Uh, this is a specific model, it's called the Instruct model. So this is not something that you can fine tune, but it's ready to use right away for any sort of use cases. Next up, we have the Guanaco model followed by the Lazarus. And at fourth, we have the Falcon 40B original model itself. And that is pretty great. We are gonna try to run the Falcon 40B instruct model and the Falcon 40B model, which will be pretty similar. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how you can run that. Since this is a pretty large model, uh, we can find this on Hugging Face. You can try to download this off GitHub as well. But one of the easiest ways we can do this is by using another cloud compute source to run the Falcon instruct model we would need at least 85 to 100 GB of memory. To do this most efficiently, I'm gonna be using something called RunPod. Uh, you can easily create an account on this and then we can select a cloud compute source to run this on. So once you actually create an account, go into templates and in templates, you should see something called RunPod the bloke LLMs. And this is an open source RunPod which has been created by other people out there, so you can click deploy. And I am gonna be choosing the NVIDIA L40. I'm gonna choose two of that and click deploy. Continue and deploy. And it's gonna take some time for it to build. While we're waiting for the run port to set up, let's actually head back into the LLM leaderboard and let's take a look at exactly how these models are ranked, right? So the Falcon 40B, it's clearly at the top and let's look at some reasons why and what it has been tested on. So it says here that they evaluate models on four key benchmarks and that makes use of the A12 reasoning challenge, which is a set of grade school science questions. 
something called Hella Swag, which is a test of common sense inference, which is easy for humans, but challenging for straight of the art language models. And then also an MMLU, which is a test to measure a text model's multitask accuracy. So the test covers 57 tasks, including elementary mathematics, US history, computer science, law, and more. And lastly, there's something called truthful QA, which is a test to measure a model's propensity to reproduce falsehoods commonly found online. So by making use of these four benchmarks, this is how Hugging Face actually ranks all of these large language models. Once our pod is set up and running, you should see something like this. And you can click this arrow right here and click connect. And once you see this pop up, you should be clicking connect to the HTTP service pod 7860. And this opens up a UI which makes testing of these LLMs much more easier for us. So we can run an inference very, very quickly. Uh, first off, let's go into the model section and load the model that we want. I'm going to be making use of an experimental version of the Falcon 40B instruct model. And we're going to click copy here. And what we want to do is we want to go into model and we want to load a custom model. So I'm going to be pasting that right here and click download. So that should take some time. I've already preloaded it. Once that has downloaded, you can refresh it right here and you should see the model that we have downloaded selected. Once you select that model, you should see this message which says that it's successfully loaded. And once that happens, we are ready to test the model. So we can go into text generation to test the factual knowledge. We can ask a question like, who won the Nobel Prize in Literature in 2020? And we can click Generate. Right off the bat, what we notice is that it's extremely slow compared to something like ChatGPT or other closed source LLMs out there. This is relatively much, much slower. But the reason why the Falcon model probably has such a high ranking is because of its accuracy instead of its speed. We can do a quick Google search to verify this. Yep, and that is the correct answer. Next, we're going to ask it to explain some Python code for us. So I'm giving it this factorial Python code. And then let's see if we can, it can answer this. Now, a good comparison for the Falcon 40B model that we just tested out is this second version of the same model, but it has been trained by H2O. And if we click on this right here, we can see that this model was actually trained using the H2O LLM Studio, and it claims to be slightly faster than the original Falcon 40B model. So we're gonna test this out by clicking copy right here, and we're gonna head back into the model section of our interface and you can click paste here and download. Similarly, just to download the model again. And once you've done that, you can click reload right here and you should see the model right there. And that should have been successfully loaded. Once that's successfully loaded, we can go back into the text generation tab and click generate for the same question, just to see if we can get a different or faster response. I would say that this model is actually just slightly faster than the original 40B model that we just tested. Now I'm gonna give it a different question. Write a short story about a robot who dreams about becoming a painter. It does a pretty good job of giving a response and a response which actually matches what you're asking. So that being said, if we were to go back to the open LLM leaderboard 
It's interesting that there are so many large language models out there which are also open source and we see it all being ranked, but it will be really, really great if to see it also being ranked by speed. By looking at speed, it gives a really good idea on the feasibility of these LLMs as well. And that's something that definitely should be added. That being said, the Falcon 40B model is still in experimentation stages. Even the institution which has released this model has claimed that it's still in experimentation mode and they are still constantly building on top of it. And they do plan on releasing a chat feature very soon. So that will be very interesting to see if that performs much faster since it's in a chat mode compared to actually running their model and then getting an inference from it. So that's something to definitely stay tuned for and to check if we can get much better performance that way. Hope this video was helpful in letting you guys know how you can easily deploy a model like the Falcon 40B. Thank you guys for watching and subscribe for more AI related content.